one of the greatest tools in the hunter's library is the slinger. You can mix it in with your weapon combos, but more importantly, you can use it to smash monsters into walls. It seems, however, that there might be some confusion around how, and particularly when, you were able to do this. So let's clear that up a little bit with this short tutorial. First and foremost, what do you need in order to be able to execute a successful flinch shot, wall smash, space jam, yeet, or boop the snoot? You need slinger ammo. Any kind, any variety, and any amount. There is no diminished effect for using less powerful slinger ammo, such as stones over something like a bomb pod, outside of course of straight damage of the shot. Also, using one stone versus 20 stones will send the monster the same distance, and that distance is dependent upon the monster itself, as well as the monster's current energy state. You see this is the key factor to getting a successful boot. You're going to want to be monitoring the pulse in the bottom left. A strong pulse, that monster is going to travel far. A weak pulse, not so much. Only go for it if they're close to a wall. The pulse will also tell us if the monster is enraged. You see, monsters essentially have two states, enraged and not enraged. It's quite a bit more complicated than that, but for right now, let's just work with it. If the monster's pulse is blinking orange, it is enraged, and it will not react to any flint shots or claw swipes. Only go for a space jam if the monster's pulse is strictly blue. Now, just because the pulse is blue doesn't mean you are 100% in the clear. There are still times when you go for a wall slam and the monster just doesn't react. Remember to keep an eye on the pulse. A raised and fast pulse will mean it is less reactive. A lower, less active pulse means you should be good. So a quick recap on how to actually perform a flint shot in case you didn't watch my clutch claw tutorial video. Grapple onto a monster's head, aim them at a wall with circle or B, and then press R2 or right trigger to send them flying into the wall. If close enough and aimed properly, they'll smash into the wall, dealing massive head damage and knocking them down. This also unloads all of your slinger ammo into the monster's face. The more ammo you have, the more damage that shot will do. It also means that if you load it up with thorn pods, the next attacks to the monster's face will deal KO damage. Stacking slinger ammo is a great way to combo. Now, when are you able to do this? Well, anytime really, so long as the monster lets you and it's not enraged. Normally, if you try to grapple onto their head, almost any attack will throw you off, so you'll need to pick an opening. Try to go for it right as a monster is finishing an attack to give you the most time to control it. Monsters will also give large openings when they are exhausted. Be quick though, as hunters take their time on a monster and can easily get thrown off. There are a few things you can do to make it easier to stay on the monster. The Rocksteady Mantle will keep you on no matter what, but you will suffer damage through the attacks. The Temporal Mantle will let you automatically avoid any attacks without suffering damage, but you won't be able to avoid roars. Skills like Earplug will let you withstand roars and are a great way to get an early boot while the monster is confused as to why it's being attacked. Marathon Runner will let you stay on longer, but isn't really necessary. And I've tested Flinch Free, and unfortunately it has no effect on claw mounts. The interesting thing about claw mounts and wall slams is that there is no cooldown. If you're able to get onto a monster and run it into a wall, so long as it isn't enraged, you can knock him into a wall repeatedly until he eventually becomes enraged and you can no longer do so. One of the biggest benefits to claw mounts is knocking monsters out of the sky. While this doesn't work 100% of the time because of, well, Capcom, it will help a ton with a new flash nerf. When a monster is flying, you don't need to aim it at a wall either. Simply grapple onto their face and mash that trigger to get off the attack as quickly as possible. And that's it. Don't recklessly go for a claw mount, as you'll easily get thrown around and carted, but if there's an opening, or you really need a breather for your team and you have a mantle, it can be a lifesaver. Just remember, Orange Pulse is an instant no-go. Good luck out there, hunters, and happy hunting. Oh, one other small tip. Did you know you could hold on to the Dragonator and fire it when you're ready? 